I'm talking be my all clean Fit to me Finger all shiny on my baby's diamond ring I was on a high till I caught on to the scene Swear I lost my heart when I fell in love with things Rookie year went broke like Jalen Rose Got the price, sold my soul to the things I own Switched up, locked in and got my mind right Prioritizing, got my business and my time right Wrist watch, no TikTok, you know the crown Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to hip hop culture. What's happening, y'all? Welcome to the show. It is Wednesday night. Yo, yo, yo. This is E up in the house, BBS Boys Detroit. I want to say welcome to the show on a Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Y'all know what time it is. I want to give a shout out to all of the chapters across the country. We talking about up there in Long Island, New York. We talking about Jersey. We talking about uh, Baltimore, Oakland, ATL, MIA, all over, y'all. That's the BBS Boys Detroit. That's what we do. Also want to give a shout out to my homeboys from the Detroit crew. I'm talking about Sonny Mac, Tony Tone, up in the house with me. Yo, 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 my yo. man DJ Tone, nephew Buck, and Sonny Mac. And then you got me, E double. Double E, test, whichever test. way you want to call it, as long as you have an E in it. Y'all know how I like to test, do that. Test, 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 test. Guess what, man? I'm excited about today's show. We have up in the house tonight, Leah Bands. That's right, Detroit song. Leah Bands is Woo! up in the house. She is a female artist, spitting those lyrics, y'all. We're going to get into it with her. But before I do that, y'all know what I got to always do. I got to keep it real. You know, we talk about them cars. So, Leah, I got to ask you this, Miss Bands. You see these cars up here, right? You know what we stand for. BBS Boys Detroit. We stand for that old culture, 80s, 90s, paid in full thing. So, if you had a choice of a vehicle back then during that time, what fly vehicle would you choose? Now, I already know how you're rolling because I saw how you pulled up. Mm. We're going to get into that. Be nice. <laughs> she she right in that nice. range. That range, man. So, you know. Must but be if nice. you had to think about one of these particular cars and even one that's not posted, mm -hmm. what would it be? Um, old school wise, I like, um, I don't know what year, honestly, I ain't going to lie, but I like the Malibus and Cutlass. Okay. Um, okay. And from what I'm seeing, that Benz up there. Okay. Top right one. All um, right. And a bottom one too, actually. And that one. Okay, just all yes. the Mercedes. All, all, Mercedes. Yes. all Mercedes, man. All Mercedes. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So listen, before we get into this nice interview, I know we about to have. I really, 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 really want to let the people see, and then I want y'all to chime in too. Give us a call at two four eight four two nine seven two two four and join the conversation with Miss Leah Bands here and your man E Double E. E double, whichever way y'all want to call it, as long as the E is in there, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, we're going to play a couple of her videos, and then we're going to get into the conversation. So, let's ride with that, Glenn. Chicken, bitch, I'm boo cream. Hundred plus for that robot, that's that new bitch. I got all money, but I'm shitting on that new bitch. What they call me? What I'm running through? I don't give these broke niggas a chance. Baby girl, come get your man. What they call me? What I'm running through? I don't give these broke niggas a chance. Baby girl, come get your man. Make my nigga trip when I suck it. No hands on the dick, bands on the fit. I be on my shit, you ain't doing shit. Talking too much, got your mans wanna hit. Damn, look, I got the kind of bag niggas brag on. Look how I got these bitches sick, put your mask on. Not the kind of bitch that'll leave when that cash gone. I'm the kind of bitch sick, put you to that bag on. Sit down on the side, I'ma be a minute. Necklace, watch all flooded like Katrina hit it. New ass whip, getting weeded in it. 50 shades blocking all my haters, plus my windows tinted. What, what, what they call me? What I'm running through? I don't give these broke niggas a chance. Baby girl, come get your man. What they call me? What I'm running through? I don't give these broke niggas a chance. Baby girl, come get your man. Ugh. 
Fly me out of state, baby, I don't wait. I go get the paint since you call me baby, baby, I want cake. I want green crisp. When we on a date, baby, I want steak. I want all the cash, all the gas, I don't know no brakes. Put, put the jag up, now I'm in the rover. Hop out, like six bands hanging on my shoulder. Put your phone out, call your bitch, let her know it's over. I done wrote the dick, now he needs some new brakes and rotors. I done blew his engine, now he need a motor. Fuck the chicken up, rest in peace of soda. Money make me come, money make me wet. I do all the work, I spend all the checks. I done did the rolly, I'ma come to tech. I don't want your nigga, I just want the neck. I don't want no cars, I don't want no tech. Buy me private planes, put me on the jet. What they call me? What I'm running through? I don't give these broke niggas a chance. Baby girl, come get your man. Yeah, so that that that's pretty nice, there. So thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. So what was the uh, general idea of that particular video? And and we'll get into the bank robbery stuff in a minute because mm-hmm. you got some cohorts that was there doing the bank robbery stuff. So what was the what was the uh, the, the premise of that? Um, honestly, I had the video director, shout out to Diego, because he did his thing with that video. Like I said, that was really a whole production. It, I, that started from like, what? well, I was up at 7 in the morning that day, but it started like around like 11, ain't into a 12 that night, I feel like. Um, he came up with the whole, uh, what you call that? The concept. Concept, concept mm-hmm. yeah. He came up with the whole concept because I just let him listen to the song because I honestly didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So... That's what I'm paying y'all for, you know, little, right, you know right, So right. what you come up with and you know, he knew the people with for the like the bank, you know, uh I knew the person for the um car scene. Shout out to John Pistop in Redford, you know, he let us use his space for that uh ending scene. But yeah, he came up with all of it, oh, honestly. Cool. Yeah, the video director. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. So we gotta, we gotta tell that video director to use our cars next time. Yeah, there you go. We get that. Uh, we'll get that yes. Later. Yes. We yes. Get that we'll get it. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. so with that being said, and again, I want y'all to comment on the video. Give us a call at two four eight four two nine seven two two four. But with with that being said, you know what what was interesting to me is I went and looked at the behind the scenes footage mm-hmm. and it talked about what you you kind of let everybody see what it takes right. to do that mm-hmm. and the inside look so that was creative did, yes. was that your own thought to do or did the director mm-hmm. decide to do that no nope, I decided to do that I uh, actually uh, hired uh, a guy named Marcel shout out to him to follow me that whole day just mm-hmm. to document what all I'm doing and then chop it up and so they can see like this is like it's not no right, over right, like this right. is a whole process like this is not easy Right. I was exhausted that night. I tell people that all the time. People think an artist just get out there and just go do it, but no. there's a lot of work that goes it's on so behind the work. scenes. Yes. You know, you talking about hair and makeup for, for for ladies, but I mean not only that location. Mm, location you got to talk about timing no. mm-hmm. and you know how all this went together. Wardrobe, exactly. Um, people running with bags of money and stuff like that. You know, just little little, little stuff that you got to do. Little things that all contributed. All you know, yeah, yeah, it was a lot, but an experience. It was very fun. I think we all had fun. So that's like. I mean, you got several videos out there, mm-hmm. right? So, was that one of your first? No, 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 no. I think uh, uh, you need a hot girl. That was one. That of was the first, first video, of the hot girl video. Yeah, video. I, I like that. And Thank you. You know, you. the thing was, you know, you using the, the other music, but I'm I'm look I'm listening to the lyrics and what you're saying. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know, a lot of people will say, "Well, you know, she didn't create her own music. Who cares what people say?" I mean, I'm right. at, that's where I'm at right now. Mm-hmm. You know, if you out here enjoying yourself and doing what you know. That you like to do. Mm-hmm. That's why I like this next song we get ready to do in a minute. Mm-hmm. Do it. You know, just do, do your okay. thing. Do it. <laughs> do it. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. Yes. You know, and um, yes. I want to get into, before we play that, mm-hmm. I want to get into how did you get started in this? And then how long, first question is this, how long have you been doing this as far as an artist? Um, It'll actually be four years this September coming up. It'll be four years I've been okay. rapping. Okay. And been taking it serious. Okay. But I feel like I've always wanted to rap though since I was a kid, honestly. Like I'd take like other people raps and like present it to my family like it was mine and they'd go for it. They like 
that's you. And be like, you know, <laughs> until I got older, I'm like, no, that was not me, y'all. Until I, you know. And then one day I decided to um, get up and book studio time just to see mm-hmm. what happens. Mm-hmm. And um, when I went, the pr- uh, engineer was just like, it don't seem like this your first time. And at that point, it's just like, well, I've always wanted to do it, so maybe just, like, naturally. Because that was my first time ever behind a mic recording anything. Right. And uh, it went on from there. I liked it. So a lot. So from myself being around artists for a long time and mm-hmm. just knowing how to recognize talent, when you when I, when I you said you only been a few, few years, I went and looked at everything. Mm-hmm. So I did my research and mm-hmm. everything. And yeah. in four years to accomplish what you've done and from what I can hear and what you say and this, that, and the other, yeah, you got a gift. Right, you got you got you got a gift that you know that can be nurtured into something. You yes. recognized it, yes. and you're still learning. Right, right. Mm-hmm. that's the good thing. So yeah. when you put it in perspective like that, when I say learning, what what do you look for when you uh, trying to create a song? What are you trying to? Are you looking for somebody to help you write it? I know with the music you want, you, you probably got a producer or somebody that's doing that for you. Mm-hmm. So how do you get your creative vibes going, and when you want to create a song? <clears throat> um. Honestly, it could be off of what something that could have just happened. Mm-hmm. An argument. I want to get some anger out. You know, trans uh, put that energy into something else. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that or um, you know, a little good eye, good night out. You know, at the club. You know, at the, take me to the studio. I got something I want to say. You know. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So that's honestly how it comes about. Um, in the studio, uh, I have everybody really contributing for real. Like, if y'all think I should say this instead of that, say it. Like, I can take constructive criticism. Like, that's a part of the job. You have to have the, you know, tough skin in this type of industry, honestly. Right. So I have, uh, I try to have everybody contribute, honestly, you know, and um, say little things. Come back, like, no, I'm, I'm going to say it this way. And the thing is, I have to, after the studio, I have to go in the car and listen to it to make sure it sound right, the level. Like, you know, oh, yeah. of course, in the studio, right it's going to sound good, yeah. but we got to do the car test now. Yeah. So, usually, car I... Car tests mean a lot. Yes. So, usually, <laughs> I go back in and re-record it, or, like, I might not, like, like how I said something or how I sounded. Because I'm really my biggest critic. I know how I want it to sound. I know how, you know, so... We gonna do it until it's right. So you might go back in and punch something. Mm-hmm. You know, go back in and punch over. Or the if it's like just let's just go through the whole song at that point. Again. Yeah, let's just yeah. do it all mm-hmm. over again because I know I could do it better than the last. You know. Right. Yeah. Now, now are your studio sessions like you, the engineer, and maybe it's somebody else. Oh yeah, I don't do that, Lars. And yeah. I, ha- I know I have. I can't be like that. You know, I can't. But it's just my comfort for right now. So the only people I'm comfortable in the studio with is me, the engineer. And my best friend Joe, and my other one Evan. Mm-hmm. That literally, that's it, honestly. And you know, of course, they they have like half came before, I think. But if they was to, I wouldn't care neither, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> you talking about they? So let's jazz, talk about that. I'm look, sorry, look, yes, jazz, jazz and, and Christine, Christine. My bad, okay. yeah. Okay. Those are the bank robbers, right? <laughs> yes. In the video, okay. <laughs> So right, if you. they, you know, was to come, that's no problem either. But okay. usually it's the people I named. It's like, it's no outside, no. Mm-mm. Well, you got to do what you got to do to get yeah. your creative vibe going right. because right. you got to be focused on what you're trying to accomplish. Exactly, yeah. Now, now, are you writing most of your material? Does somebody write for you? Or is it a co- collaboration? Half a it, like half of me, half collaboration. Okay. In which I honestly see no problem with because. And you are totally independent. Mm-hmm, totally. So you, you, it doesn't matter. You're not locked in to predict uh, a particular entertainment company or or, or a producer or anything like that you know you just go where you feel you need to go to get something done yeah I know who to go to yeah basically I know who to okay. go to but yeah okay that's good because mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. nobody gonna turn down no money <laughs> you shouldn't right exactly. if you your right mind exactly I'm gonna have to open up a studio yeah. I'm with you on that Tom I'm with you on <laughs> yes. that yes we will talk further about that as well yeah yeah, yeah. We will, we will. <laughs> so, so I also saw when I was out there doing my research, I saw you did this thing down at Little, at this, uh, Little Caesars mm-hmm. Arena. That was, was my that? first what performance. What was that about? That was your first performance? That was my first performance ever. And when I say I was about to back out because I was so nervous. What? Because it was at the arena. Okay, first, the event was a celebrity basketball game. Right, so right. All the Detroit people there. That's first. Mm-hmm. Second, like, this is my first performance. I People know me just a little, but this is my first ever real performance so right. and it's at the arena what? it's yeah, it was honestly I couldn't take it it was a uh, nerve wracking but I felt like um, it was a great experience and a great look I think and especially oh, for absolutely. me to have somebody there yeah. to record my you know like the whole little setup like oh yeah 
it was a move for sure. Like, I liked it a lot, and I don't regret doing it now, of course. But in that moment, oh, yeah, I'm just like, why would I ever have this as my first performance? It's too much larger of a crowd. Like, what was I thinking? But like I said, for artists, that was a great look for me. And uh, I liked it a lot. It was cool. So once you get past, let me, let me give you a little advice on that. Mm -hmm. Once you get past that, ain't nothing going to stop you. Because mm -hmm. I remember doing the show that um, was... Uh, Sponsored by him. Mm -hmm. He was in Ohio. Now, I've been doing shows around here forever. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, with Luke and Two Live Crew, with Big Daddy Kane. And mm -hmm. I'm talking about who, um, everybody then did all kinds of shows. Like you were on stages and all this who stuff. Who do we have at this show? The Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys, MC and, Bree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And I was MCing plus performing. Plus, yeah, that's true. And that's true. You're just a bunch of people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, after doing so many shows... It be, you become numb to that, and it's like right. you need that energy. Mm -hmm. So, have you done shows since then? Oh yeah. And okay. it's like you need that feed that crowd. It, it um it feeds me when I get out there because it's like a I know y'all about to feel what I'm saying. Y'all about to really mess with my music. Right, so it's like right. a. Yeah, I have a point to prove. Like, yeah, I'm about to show y'all who Leah Benz is. And honestly, I feel like That's with every <laughs> performance, I'm always nervous, honestly. And I didn't read interviews with, like, Eminem. They, like, you know, they still get the Like, it's normal. But right when the song drop, oh, you can't tell me nothing. Can't tell you nothing. Well, see, this is the thing. When you stop having those what we call butterflies, mm -hmm. then, in my opinion, now I don't know what anybody's, but in my opinion, then you've lost your... Your innate drive on the inside mm -hmm. to really enjoy what you're doing because mm -hmm. now you're just doing something. Right. If you okay. lost that, if you lost that inner feeling that you get as a performer or as an artist, like I'm gonna tell you this, even with me, when I come on this show, when we do this show, every time we get ready to start, I feel that feeling. It mm -hmm. brings me back to the yeah. '80s and '90s when I was performing man, on stages. Man, yeah, know because that. you know why? Because it's two things, and you can you can elaborate on this mm -hmm. probably. Because it's a brand I'm putting out there. You know, I'm putting me out here. Absolutely. And I got to stand for that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And so I'm passionate about wanting to do it right and look good. And so I'm going to go back and yes, critique myself. Like you said, when you go back to the studio exactly. and listen to it, you're going to go back and again and say, well, how could I have done that look better? And with, mm -hmm. You know, so ain't nothing to do but to, to do it. So exactly. with me saying that, which is the next title of that video, can you cue that up for me, Glenn? No. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what if what if the producer just said no? Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, then what do you do? Yeah. Then you do what Chris Rock did. Oh, <laughs> you go on with the show. You just keep you keep you know. I'll start with my next question and be looking at him like what? <laughs> All right, let's get off into. We're gonna get off into do it, y'all. Leah Bands. What's up? What's up? Like it's Nike. Nike. That little shit that you post don't excite me. Uh, come new money, you could come new wifey. Come Gotta white, throw me no in the big crib. Gotta keep me icy. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit pricey. I get what I want. I know your baby mama don't like me. I know your bum ass little sister wanna fight me. She mad at me, but wanna be just like me. Christian Dior, Chuck Taylor's, yeah, the gray and blue. When the kids ask for advice, I tell them stay in school. Got stopped by the troopers, had to play it cool. Bad bitch post the stuff, she the ain't the fool. <laughs> yeah. This that dog talk, that 200 on the lodge to blow the walls off. This that fuck me in the rake with the stars talk. This that Uber to the lot and put the cars off. More money, more money, I'ma get to it, Chanel sneaks. No Nikes, but we just do it, 100,000. In the bag, list of thumb through it, get on a pole. Shake my ass if it come to it. More money, more money, I'ma get to it, Chanel sneaks. No Nikes, but we just do it, 100,000. In the bag, list of thumb through it, get on a pole. Shake my ass if it come to it. I rock Chanel like it's Nike. Like it's Nike. That little shit that you post don't excite me. I don't really need your money. I ain't trying to be your wifey. Got three or four cars and I'm already icy. I done spent more money than these bitches ever seen. I be posting big money shit. You be posting memes. Huh. New Ferrari, yeah, that's six shit. Bitch and that little ass Valarm and that big bitch you hoes in them little ass bags. I 
him in that big bitch And a pussy stay on splash Like a big bitch Whip 150, 200 on a dash Nigga fuck with me and you might get you a bag No shortcuts to the pape, I'm on that ass Went to G5 in Miami and spit they stash Look at my neck and my wrist, it's all glass In your hood, I'm with the killers, I get a pass More money, more money I'ma get to it, Chanel sneaks No Nikes, but we just do it Hundred thousand in the bag Listen, thumb through it, get on a pole Shake my ass if it come to it More money, more money I'ma get to it, Chanel sneaks no Nikes, but we just do it. Hundred thousand in the bag. Listen, we'll thumb through it. Get on a pole. Shake my ass if it comes to it. All right, so man, that that was hot right there. That yes. was definitely hot. Thank you. So you shot that where? I shot that in Miami, Florida. In Florida, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's really my second home, actually. If you want to be okay. technical, but yeah, yeah, I, can really I shot it. I shot uh, two videos in Florida, actually. That in my Ocean Drive video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So the concept of that song. Mm -hmm. What was where did that come from? Oh, a lot of scratching going on. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like with that song, that came about just we in the mold, you know. And you know how else I get in mold? I have all my jewelry on. That makes me feel like, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, y'all, you know. Mm. So that's really what that song honestly came from in that type of mold, you know. I'm just, yeah. You flex. Right, yeah, right. Basically, you exactly. know. You flex. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know, ain't nothing to do but to do it, right? <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that like I was saying. We got this phrase around here called man up. So man it up. now I'm about to tack on there. Do it. <laughs> so that's how we doing that, y'all. Again, join the conversation at 248-429-7224, BBS Boys Detroit. We live up in the house with Leah Bands. And so yes. um, you went to, and I ain't trying to put your business out there. Oh, no, you're but, fine. but you went to Groves, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Which is out here in Southfield. That experience, mm -hmm. now, when you, when you run into people that went to school with you, mm -hmm. What are they saying now about what you're doing? What's can, what what kind of feedback you getting? What kind of interest or, you know, what's happening when they see you now and know that you are doing what you're doing? Honestly, they mess with it. They, they do. Really, they do. You got the uh, half that secret fans that don't want to be make it be known they listening to you, but you know they listening. Mm -hmm. And you got the other half that's like, I. I can see this for you. Like, you are naturally an entertainer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not no over. And then, basically, it's no rap cat. Everything I'm rapping, I'm doing. She's living it. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's cool. So, you So, doing they just things. saying, like, yeah, it, well, with that, that makes it ten times better, I guess. So, they just, like, keep on. You you can, you not, yeah, you, you can do that. So, so I happen to know this, too. Again, I ain't going to keep referring to my research, but I want you to know I do my homework. Mm -hmm. So, your you mom. Do his homework. Mm hmm <laughs> She kind of, you know, you came home one day and she said, okay, I'm going to put this behind you. I'm mm -hmm. going to get behind you to help you get yourself going. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel, knowing that you got that support and that love from mom and what you're trying to do, regardless of the content? Right, yeah. You know, because people get all caught up in the content, this, that, and the other. They do. I did what I did. My mom did what I did. But at mm -hmm. the same time, she like, okay, that's you. you right. Know, you got to live with that. But... So back to that question, how, what kind of support? I mean, how did that make you feel to get that kind of support? It was honestly a blessing for real. Uh, mm -hmm. Cause my thing is, my mama, uh, she not about to back me if I'm ass. Honestly, she's not about to do that. You know, like mm -hmm. if I'm with let's bad, define ass. That means terrible. <laughs> yes. That means you not even terrible. Right. It's Booty. Ter yes. Yeah. So okay. do, if do. I was that, no, she would have been like. No, like, you don't waste your money or mine, for real, like. Okay. <laughs> but for her to be like, you sound good, and I support you. Oh, yeah, it was a breath of fresh air, really, like, a weight lifted off my shoulders, because it's not right. just me that support, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really expensive to rap, okay? Mm -hmm. To maintain oh, believe an me, image. I, believe me. It's I expensive. Know. We know. <laughs> so, we know. but somebody to back you, oh, yeah, it was a blessing, honestly, serious, yeah. Don't take, yeah. It's, it's amazing, honestly. It's a good feeling, warming. Mm -hmm. But do you do you like late night sessions or do you, 
I, I really, you know, late night sessions would be best for me. You go in. Yes, I go in the middle the of the door, night. You go in the middle of the night. You just be there all night to the morning. To the morning. Yeah. And then you come I up out like and bring it daytime sessions. Mm. Yeah, I like, I come alive in the nighttime, I think, you know. So I like 12 a.m. to, what, 3, 4 a.m. type mm-hmm. thing. And then I go home and, yeah, see what I want to work on. Then at that point, I may come back during the day to fix the. Mm-hmm. But if I'm, like, trying to, like, create, create, oh, it's at night. It's really yeah, at night, yeah. 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 I couldn't do it in the daytime. It had to be night. Yeah, I mean, I would lock myself the, in there. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about and I the like daytime. I like the vibe yeah. to be dark. Like, you if know, I had it my yeah. way, we wouldn't have this much light on up in here because I like the dark <laughs> to be, because mm-hmm. I, I can vibe more in the dark like that. That's, so, our, that's our producer. <laughs> <laughs> so, what other aspirations do you have? Like, acting? Do you want to do, like, okay. some modeling and doing all the other kind of stuff? Because. Yes. We here at Vent Radio and with the BBS Boys Detroit, we have some big things coming up in the near future. And yes, we do. Yes, we, we like we for do. people to want to be thinking about two-year plan, five-year plan, mm-hmm. what they want to do. Like, you know, okay, he gave okay, it to me. he gave you what he you He gave me what for. I wanted. And so he did it out of spite. Do so you see that when he slammed that down <laughs> like that? I he did, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That so man's looking like a blue smirk. That's it. <laughs> For sure. But it's you cool say, like you like this vibe? Okay, okay. It's okay. That's cool. I can't see what I'm reading, but that's okay. <laughs> it's good. So, just turn that light back on for me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. I couldn't see. I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared. Now you can't read. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, you know. So we got to we got to do this a little bit prep before yeah, we get the show. That, did no, you? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can't. This this I love this guy, man. Gotta love Glenn, man. You, you gotta keep the mood Glenn. light, man. I love it. Gotta love Glenn. So, man. do you have any of those aspirations? To like, you want to act? Do you want to? Yes. Model before I started rapping, I wanted to be a model, but they told me I wasn't tall enough. See, that's going back to what I said again <laughs> before. Here we go. What damn, what them people Here say? <laughs> Correct. Here so the go. thing is, I wanted to do like runway modeling. Runway modeling, you have to be like five eight and above. Mm-hmm. I'm a solid five seven. I did not keep growing. I like I thought <laughs> I was. So I didn't want to do the print modeling. Like I want to be on the runway because I like to runway walk. Like I want to be on the runway. So mm-hmm. if I couldn't do runway, then I just said, okay, well, you know, maybe print modeling down the line. But you know, and so. Also, I do want to act as well. Why? Because I feel like, yeah. I can see myself on power, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so check this out, though. One of your next things, one of your next videos could be a runway walk. Yeah, you no. You could create your mm-hmm. own vibe, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So Just let it start from there. Yeah, somebody yeah, yeah no, absolutely. Thing, like, you know absolutely. what I mean? Who is Absol- no, we, for real. We have to create our own lane. Yes, yes. And exactly. everything we do in life. Exactly. You know, yep. I, I, mm-hmm. I really always, I hate to keep going back to this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I like to give this man his flowers what they like to call it because he created his own lane and has been doing it for years. Years. You know, when we talked about Midwest uh, Video Awards and all that, that's his creation. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, he always talks about creating your, and I'm, I'm, people, I'm speaking of Glenn. <clears throat> I know y'all can't see him over there, but he always cre- always creating his own genre, his own lane to walk down, his own lane. which inspires us, BBS Boys Detroit, my man Tony Tone, myself, and all us to do our own thing. And I like to run into artists who are independent, doing their own thing, Mm -hmm. and you have your own goals set for yourself. So when I talk about goals, Mm -hmm. what are your two-year to five-year goals at this point in what you're doing? I I can't see you stopping because right now you got some momentum going. People are telling you what you're doing, and and they liking it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm telling you, I can see something there. You know that means a lot, actually. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. And it's it's because it's the honest to God too. Like if you mm-hmm. said if I if if I watched some of that and did my research, and I happened to call you and say, you know what, that's all right. Don't come to the show. You ass. <laughs> you know, I mean, because you know, I heard all that, but nah, but nah, right we good. We good. You know, we good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be straight like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which is yes. And that's what people need to do mm-hmm. is be more upfront with what's. What's going on? You know, <laughs> you can tell because you can. People could just gas you up all day long, and then it's like please don't do that if you're thinking the opposite. Like just you could tell me, I can take it. Like you know, I know everybody not gonna like my stuff. So like, I'm gonna get to this next thing mm-hmm. though because like being a female artist and say you go into the studio and it's you happen to run into a f- few male artists or whatever, or maybe even the producer or the guy that's doing the music, and being in the rap game, you know, there's some other stuff that come with that. Sometimes mm-hmm. you might be in there trying to get some, you know, get some lyrics, get something done, and then 
somebody try to shoot their shot. And then you're not even for that. You're trying to get your work done. more often than you think. It's terrible, actually, but yeah. But don't let that discourage you. What you do is you call Uncle E, and I'm going to come <laughs> do what I got to do. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, man, and because what you need to be able to do is to be able to use your creative energy in a way where nobody's like, you know, the vulture. So tell me mm -hmm. what you do when that happens. Um, I, I don't let it discourage me because I already know what it is. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it had, like I said, it happens so often. Like I said, I get irritated because it's just like money is not the issue. I would pay for whatever I'm asking for from you. Mm -hmm. I know time is money. I get that, you know, as you should. So I'm willing to, I don't want to, why do it have to be like that? Or why, okay, you don't want to do it because I'm not giving you no action or nothing. Like, eh, I don't like that. And like I said, it happens a lot. So how I deal with it, I just deal with it. It's just on to the next. Mm -hmm. Or you, that's why honestly, I don't. I haven't really did features for real because it's hard because y'all want something out of return, or you know, y'all feelings get hurt, y'all get turned down, and y'all feeling, you know. But it's like I'm doing it in the most respectable way. It's just business. I'm not that type of girl to be. I don't do that. Like I said, I I pay. It's okay. Have that's you ever sure. thought about that's doing sure. any collabos with any other females locally here? Um, honestly, I haven't thought about it. It's a couple that I do. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, her name is Chanel Monet. Um, we were supposed to had uh, do a song together. Um, that sounds so that familiar. Name sounds yeah. so familiar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her. Uh, this is other girl from. Uh, well, you said locally because it's another uh, female well, artist. Okay, yeah, yeah, from yeah. New York. Mm -hmm. Her name King Pusha. We gon' uh, we got a song on the way as well. So that's the only two female artists, but I'm pretty sure um, I don't mind working with more. I'm really open. You know, what I'm, it's not like that yet. I'm open to any, you know. Okay. If it's a line right, if it's right, I'm not about to just hop on anything now. Nah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because you again, line, we yeah. can't come out with no ass. <laughs> right, right. We got to be careful gotta with be that. Right. You know, when you attach your name to something, you got to make sure that, that you know, right. it's fitting <laughs> in your you color. Know, yeah, what you know, yeah, like it got to be. Yeah. You know, so let me let me ask you this question. Um, favorite artists. It could be from, I don't care what <laughs> what era or whatever. But mm -hmm. your favorite artist. We're gonna go male first, and then we'll go female. No, you know what? I'm gonna go female first. Female. I like City Girls. Okay, I like City Girls. I like Trina. Um, I like uh, is it Kaya? Any Kaya? Kaya, talking about, I know, yeah. That I think there's only Kaya. one song up for her. You know, yeah. she real, you know. Mm -hmm. But her, that's really it female-wise. Now, outside, like outside of rap, though. though, but outside of rap. Okay. Anybody outside um, of rap? R&B? Yeah. I like R&B. Uh, of course, Summer Walker, Janae Aiko. I feel like I'm saying that right, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, SZA. Okay. Who else? Uh, Snow, Allegra. Okay. Uh, no Gladys Knight, yeah. none of them. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. well, I do love Anita Baker Knight and Brandy okay. and uh, Tony she Braxton. Were, she were, she okay, were back on yeah, Kelly yeah, Price. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> all right, now let's switch over to the males. Males, I love me some Ti, Gucci, Jeezy, and Boosie. But that's all they old stuff I like rapper wise. So, so the newer who, stuff is like the um, I like Jeezy mainstream stuff. Uh, T.I. mainstream stuff as well. Boosie select mainstream things I like, but I like they, you know, before. Anybody, they, anybody locally? Um, locally, of course. Uh, males, I'm trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Uh, Babyface Ray. Okay. Um, Dame Dot. Uh, no worries. I'm not trying yeah. to put you on the spot. Man, oh, and I like Young Nudie too. He ain't from here. He's from Atlanta. But okay. he's uh, I feel kind of. I, I feel kind of. Oh, man. I didn't hear Biggie or Tupac. I didn't hear Oh, and that. of course Tupac. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's him. Uh, duh. I mean, too, yeah. Oh, so those are given, right? Yeah, those are given. <laughs> those I'm sorry. Yeah, those tell are me given. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell me that. Okay. So um, when we talk about the genre of music, um, have you ever thought about trying to sing, or that's not in your lane at all? Uh, I don't think that's what's sick because we we were just somewhere. <laughs> she, she can was, sing. She think I could sing. I mm, if I was to get some vocal lessons or like coaching, you know, maybe mm -hmm. we could see what it hit on. But um, I can't really see myself singing. I don't think instead of just rapping, honestly, you can do anything. I know. I, 
Yeah. Well, if it, it got to sound right. Yeah, yeah we're going to see how you. that sound. Yeah, yeah. I can answer. And 50 Cent can sing on some records. Well, okay, right, yes. And then also, <laughs> I've tried auto-tune, but, like, I don't like the way it sound on my voice. Right, right. The so auto-tune thing. I, didn't, I haven't tried that again. Maybe it's different now. I don't know. All right, I think we better uh, pay some bills right quick, and then we'll get back to Miss Bands over here. But we want to pay some paid. bills. Got to get paid. Got to pay care of these bills around here. Shout out to my man Sam Curry up there at Tax Smart, man. Y'all can go check him out for all your tax needs at 20318 Grand River. You can reach him at 313 592 1600. That's Tax Smart. Go see my man Sam Curry. He is there to help you with all of your tax needs, man. It is tax season. As a matter of fact, next uh, couple weeks from now, y'all got to get them taxes in. So you better go holler at Sam. Also, are you tired of the basic look? That old factory look. Tired of the wind being louder than your sound or your radio. Well, you got to get some personality on your slingshot. That's right. You got to get some personality on your slingshot. So you got to call Trunk Music LLC for your slingshot and audio needs and lighting on those slingshots. You go see my man. Go see him. He's a fellow BBS boy. My man Brent. Nephew Brent at 313-622-4064. And his man Theron at 313-505-4008. That's again, Trump music. Also, we got my man here with the Ooh Wee Coffee, ooh man. Wee. My man Alex located over there on 7 Mile. Alex is selling that Ooh Wee Coffee, man. I ain't going to tell you what's in it. You know what I'm saying? It's just Ooh Wee Coffee. Ooh -wee. So you got to get that, man. <laughs> so again, um, Ms. Benz, I really want to say that, you know, I'm excited that you came, mm -hmm. show, you know, come here to see us today. And I'm no looking problem. forward I'm to you. Uh, I was excited to come here as well. This is my second podcast. So. Well, you can't go to nobody else now. I'm just okay. kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Y'all want it that <laughs> way. I'm just okay, kidding. No. Me. All right. no, I mean, that seat right there is for you because anything that you got coming up, you mm -hmm. got my number. Call me up. Yes. We can get on the show. We can talk about it, play it, let everybody see. We can feature it on here, like exclusively coming out. Then here we go. Yes. And, and you know, show people mm -hmm. the video and get you, get you, from, get the people familiar with you. Yes. You know, I know that you got other platforms, you got other things going on, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure that we're showcasing and doing what we do. So the BBS Boys. It yes. does not, that BBS not only stands for, you know, the wheels that are on the cars, but it also stands for Black Business Services. So we all, black we, we think services. heavily Love about that. trying to promote black businesses and independent artists and things mm -hmm. of that nature because we like to say that we can create our own lane. That's what it's all Absolutely. about. Yes. You know, in the chapters all across the country, they're doing the same thing. You know, we're trying to come together and make sure that this movement, the mm -hmm. culture, the paid in full culture, what we like to talk about, mm -hmm. is here to stay it's not going nowhere ain't going so nowhere. we OGs and all that but there's there's some there's some some value in what we what we did during our time mm -hmm. and what we doing <laughs> trying to help other people at this point right so in your endeavors and what you're doing moving forward we want to wish you and bless you with all that luck all that love all that hard work continue doing what you're doing yes and it's going to generate Thank some you. money coming back to you don't worry about that because in the, in the long run <laughs> Okay. You, know, when you, you got to spend the get. This will be the first man to tell you that. He's been around a long time. Oh, you yes. got to put that money into it to get some to. out of Lord, it. Lord, he'll tell you he'll that. He'll tell that. you that over and over Lord. again. Because that's where, that's where it comes. And nothing, nothing wrong with spending it on yourself. Investing in yourself, yes. Yes, yeah, you spend it on yourself to get it's out of it. It's just when the funds run into. low, it gets kind of steep. Yeah, but then that's when you reach it to your resources. You know, yeah. you reach it to your resources. And they don't have to necessarily be financial resources. They could be people that can... Promote what you're trying to do and what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, thank you, Jazz, for coming and connecting me with Miss Bands over here. I appreciate that. A little RNA over there. And then, you know, uh, Christine, <laughs> I have a question for you because I found out something, and I'm very interested in, in this conversation. Now, I've been told that you're a school teacher. Yes. Okay, and what grade is that that you teach? I teach third grade. Third All grade. right, now that... Now that, not taking anything away from this conversation because you will definitely be back and I'm excited oh, yeah, that you were here today. Definitely. But Christine, I'm not going to have a show next week, people. We're not going to be on next week. I got to take a Vacation. break. Vacation. But <laughs> after that. Oh, wow. You, you're taking a break next week? Yeah. Wow, okay. I can't be off. I can do it, I can do it from somewhere else. You know, we, I can call well, the, uh, we were going to do a ticket giveaway to the premiere it's on your next week's show, but... That's cool. They give me two more tickets to do something somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I didn't know. I didn't know, man. No but problem. uh But uh, we could do it another time. I mean, again, right? Or are you just going to 
Just had a well. Week. When the promotion is over, it's, it's over. over. It's over. It's over. Miss Christine. So two weeks oh, from yeah. today. Well, forget about you. I would like to invite you to come in. I want to talk about this educational stuff. I would like to speak to you in regards to the challenges that you're having as being a school teacher. Um, far as you know, the support that you get from the administration, dealing with the parents, dealing with the kids. It's a topic well need, needed to be discussed. So if you don't mind, I'm inviting you right now in front of my listeners, in front of everybody, we'd like to have you come on to the show and have a conversation in regards to what's happening out there with Most the education definitely. world. All right, Most that's right. I mean, I mean, I want to get down to the, to the nitty gritty and find nitty out what's gritty. happening. And furthermore, I, I really want to ask you if you have any teacher friends. Yes, I, I do. <laughs> I, I have a few. Okay, you don't you, have no friends. You got, <laughs> honestly, he's all my friends. <laughs> okay, the all I got. reason why I ask is because I would very much like to have you bring a counterpart, another teacher, because okay. I like to have two different perspectives from two different teachers, uh, and then of both, both of y'all talking on at the same time. <laughs> Most because definitely. that's a lot of pressure for me to put on. Because my questions, whoa, they get deep sometimes. Real and, deep. And, and, you know, I really want to make sure that you're not nervous and I all of that. I think she can handle it, though. You think like, so? You know, yeah. yeah Y'all going to come back or they'll be back I, I know what I'm talking about. It's a topic, you know, I'm pretty adamant about. So, yeah, I would love mm. to. Yeah, wait till I get on them parents, though. That's that's where it gets kind of mm. tricky. Yeah, cause, See how she just rolled her eyes yeah, when you said that? Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, you know like, Juicy. I'm going to say Christine love the kids, like Trick love the kids. But, yeah. you know, you love the kids. So, really, that's the driving what kind the motivation. of shit is that? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Man, you know, that's what it is. So we won't be doing all that cussing and shit on our show, neither. No, damn okay. that. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but really, uh, getting back to you, Miss Benz, yes. again, I, I really want to end the show with more of you telling me and the fans out there where they can find you on mm -hmm. IG, how they can get your music, all that kind of stuff. Hit them with all that before we get up out of here. So, y'all can find me. Well, y'all can find my music, like I said, everywhere. Just type in Leah Benz, L I Y A H B A N D Z. 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 It's literally out everywhere. I am out everywhere. Videos, songs, on Instagram. Now, my page just got hacked. So, I had to make a whole nother page. But it is my name with the two at the end. So, Leah Benz 2 on Instagram. And I don't know if I want y'all to have my Twitter. I ain't gonna lie. That's a little. But you said the platforms where they can find the music. That's the platform, that? yeah. Instagram and all the platforms, all the music is out. The and cloud and all the other all Literally. All the other things. Nice. Okay. So that's Idol, good. Spotify, Apple. Okay, cool. And, so yeah. what's the latest song that's out right now? The, la the latest song. Um, well, you know, I just the latest tape that's the last thing that I did. That was the band's tape, okay. So that's the last thing I did. So I'm in the works of putting something probably like in the next month. That's when the next song should be out. You don't need mixtapes or anything like that? Um, I have two out already, okay. I feel like, um, I'll probably release another one in the summer, okay. Put that's me on it, call me up, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I get on the mixtape, you know, put us so, on it. So what, you got how you looking at me. I know, right? I know, right? They said, nobody want to hear no old ass man rap. <laughs> it's cool. Hey, don't, hey, don't, cool. hey, okay. don't, hey, don't trip now. You know, she, she do a song like called, you know, uh, Sugar Daddy. <laughs> 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 I, I guess I might be interested in the street noise. I mean, you know. yeah. uh, okay. All right. The grand granddaddy rap. I ain't no grandfather. Though, so. Well, again, <laughs> thank you for um for coming out. Of we really course, appreciate no you problem. Coming. We're gonna appreciate your continued support, and uh, hope to see you here. And that's our family fun day that's coming up, everybody. We have a family oh, yes. fun day coming up, hosted by the BBS Boys in conjunction with Vent Radio. We will have family fun day. Y'all can see that there. But um Come out. It's gonna be located at Shepherd Park, which is in Oak Park, y'all. Y'all come check us out Saturday, Park. June the 18th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's that's where we'll be there. Uh BBS boys will be there. We'll have cars on display. We're gonna have some <laughs> local artists there. Uh, there's gonna be all kind of stuff going on for the kids. So make sure y'all come. It's gonna be a family, that's what it says, family fun day. We're gonna be promoting this thing from here until then and then also mm -hmm. um oh this know going what you got on all on, day man. yeah it's 9 a.m to yeah. 9 p.m oh, oh my god yeah it's an all, all day, day. Yeah. It, it's, oh, and day also 
<coughs> uh, Oak Park cause, itself. That's because most of the people out there going to be sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Oak Park that weekend has a Juneteenth thing going on. So okay. the whole weekend is stuff going on. Gonna so it's going to be bouncies out there. Everything. Right. All other kind everything. of stuff. So yeah. you don't have to be there at nine. But, I mean, come and support and show mm-hmm. some love. You know, we're going to be accepting donations at the place to keep this thing going. We want to do it every year. So as a matter of fact, you can also do that now. You don't even have to wait till then. You can go to the Vent Radio um, uh, site, and there's a button on there you can click that says donations and donate. Then not only that. And make sure that if you do so, that you put a notation on your donation saying that it is for Family Fund Day so we know where to get the money to. Right. That's right. Because y'all ain't going to buy nothing but some little juices and stuff. That's right. <laughs> but maybe, maybe chips. And, 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 and with that. And look, it, it's going to be the ones that's like, you know, got the, the, the little chips baby, in the, the little bag. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but air in there. All serious. The I mean, yeah. If you want to support the event, um, I know that a lot of people don't do online stuff with their, with their paper, and I get it. But if that's what you do, go to eventradio.net, click the donate button, donate whatever it is that you think you can afford, and put a notation that this is for Family Fun Day. Right. Family Fun Day. And the date again? The date is June the 18th. That's a Saturday, y'all. That's June the day 18th. before Father's Day, right? I uh, believe so. It is. Yeah, the day it before is. Father's Day. Yeah. Yep. You know, we always forget them dates for ourselves because we always doing, we manning up, right? We always yeah, manning up. Right, Can right, I all plug? The time. Uh, sure, I was just going yeah, to ask that. Yeah. Please plug that event also yeah. that's coming up. I don't even want to cover uh, bands up, but I had to for this. Okay, it's fine. That is, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> May 13th, we are having the premiere of Beautiful Noise, a uh, movie produced by Street Noise Entertainment and Rodimus <laughs> Entertainment. And it will be at the Bel Air Luxury Cinema mm. Complex. That's May 13th. That's a Friday. Red carpet at 7 p.m. Movie stars at 8 p.m. And uh, after party, after the movie. So y'all put your little stuff on. Go, you know, go buy some real clothes. Real clothes. Yes, please. sir. So buy some real, real shit now nah, for one, one day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just look all right for this <laughs> one, one day. day. Yeah. One day. There yeah. will be some, we call ourselves celebs, so we're going to be up yeah. in the house, BBS oh, boys, we're going to be up there. in the house, red carpet VIP, for you. We're going to have some cars VIP. out there. Leah Bands will be up in the house. I'm, yes, I'm I will. Saying, she will be there. I will, she will be, be there, there, so y'all got to come yeah. out. Yeah. We got my man Chino. All Everybody that's been on this show going to be there, y'all. It's going to be something to see yeah it's gonna be a great event in the movie uh, itself man is it's production from a man i mean you put a lot of work into this yes, so we want to show love and show support and um yes you know we're gonna keep this thing moving we're creating our own lane y'all that's right that's right creating our Absolutely. own lane we got to support one another we and keep this thing moving. Lane. we don't have to cry about what the mother folks doing yeah. exactly right, it's right. True. i agree you know it's facts right there so with that being said y'all i want to give a shout out once again to all my fellow bbs boys from detroit I'm giving a shout out to my man Tony Tone. Thank you for yo, being yo, here, yo, yo, man. Yo. Also to Sonny Mac, DJ Tone, Mac. nephew Brent, and to my man Buck. And I am your E double E or E double, whichever way y'all want to call it. Long as it's an E in it's there, an it's an E in there. That's it's got up. to be that's what's up. That's what's up. I put two of them in there if that's what you <laughs> like, but it's got to have an E in it, man. Also, Somewhere. y'all, don't forget you can hit us up on bbsboysdetroit.com and get some of this merchandise. While it's still cold out here, we got these scullies, man. We got these hoodies. And pretty soon to come, we're going to have some other things out there for you. Yep. Also, you can hit us up at underscore bbsboysdetroit.com and check us out on IG. Soon coming up, you'll also be able to hit us up on our own YouTube page uh, where we're going to be able to catch these uh, all these shows back, 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 back to back. You can also do that on Vent Radio and look at us up on YouTube on there and catch these same shows. Also, shout out to the fellow BBS Boy chapters out of uh, New Jersey, New York, Baltimore, Oakland, ATL, Miami, Florida, all the way down there, y'all. So once again, we about to bust up out of here. I want to show some love to my man Glenn. Thank you for the show today, brother. Appreciate and you, And also, man, y'all make sure y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of those people you love. And BBS Boys Detroit, we out. Deuce. I'm talking be my all clean, fit to me. Finger all shiny on my baby's diamond ring. I was on a high till I caught on to the scene. Swear I lost my heart when I fell in love with things. Rookie year went broke like Jalen Rose. Got the price, sold my soul to the things I own. Switch.
Locked up, locked in, ain't got my mind right Prioritizing, got my business and my time right Wrist watch, no TikTok, you know the crime Let's go. Okay. Yes. General Mission 35 VIP is Let me know, because it ain't many VIP tickets. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't many. I can tell you. Oh, Tom, you mean showing up? Why? Well, you better take them, because I'm telling you, that theater, the VIP theater, 90 cents. That's plus the cast. The other theaters, like 200 seats. But the VIP, um,
Beach, about 2.36 I'm about to make my move <laughs> And make you understand I got some other plans Thinking it'd be better If we got together After this chance You got some reservations See your hesitation But you're in good hands Shawty, you made my night Girl, my car's outside Got a surprise that I want you to see Girl, I believe that you're ready tonight I think you want me to take you home oh. I can make you feel nice If you let me take you home oh. Top down, let's chill Flying down 95, come on and pop this pill. Yeah, I call it super love. You get a super love. So let your head down, be the girl that I know you can be. When we hit this jacuzzi, you won't need your panties. Girl, you just need me. Shouty, you made my night. I really like we need to leave Girl, my car's outside Got a surprise that I want you to see Girl, I believe That you're ready tonight I think you want me to take you home oh. I can make you feel nice If you let me take you home I look 